And so much now depends on what Iran decides because uh, it is a proxy. And I, I wonder, do they make the judgment? I mean, it's hard to, to put your head in the, the minds of uh, the, the, the regime in Tehran, but do they want to lose the buffer that they've got there on uh, the border with Israel? Well, that's right, Kieran. That's the $64 million question. Um, in my piece today, I outlined that... Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu had a different vision for Palestinian peace. He wanted to make peace with his neighbours first, create a period of normalisation, and then after a period of normalisation, he'd be happy to um, hand over control and even sovereignty of a Palestinian state to Palestinian leadership. Now, Iran desperately wanted to disturb that initiative, and that was going great guns under the Abraham Accords. Israel had made peace with a whole lot of neighbours and was about to secure the big prize of peace treaty with Saudi Arabia. The October 7 attacks were Iran's way of stopping that from happening. But Iran has a lot of reasons not to want a full-scale war with Israel at the moment. For a start, there's a huge slab of the American Navy in the Mediterranean at the moment and in the areas around the Middle East, and they would support Israel. In a, in a, there wouldn't be American boots on the ground, but there, there would, I believe, be American fire. So Iran would be savagely outgunned and Israel would certainly take the uh, opportunity to bomb the uh, blazers out of Iran's nuclear <laughs> program. So if Iran spends Hezbollah on a whole war and Hezbollah is, you know, uh, destroyed for at least temporarily as a military force, it doesn't any longer have that buffer. But secondly, it also risks losing its nuclear program and also the Iranian people are very unhappy with their government because it delivers such a miserable quality of life, such terrible economic outcomes. So there, but having said all that, you know, wars are often irrational. You cannot predict yeah. what's going to happen. The next couple of weeks, I think, are critical. So, uh, so true. And uh, just finally, the Prime Minister's back from Delaware. The valedictory, valedictory has uh, well and truly got underway for Joe Biden. Here's a, a little of an exchange. In fact, I just got back as well with covering that uh, quad and I threw a question into Joe Biden. Have a look. Mr President, will the quad survive beyond the election in November? The quad, will it survive regardless of the outcome? <laughs> It, it'll survive way beyond November, says uh, the outgoing president. Uh, the, the question, of course, Greg, in the context of the, the former president, Donald Trump, not being a, a fan of alliances, at one point threatening to pull out of NATO, Greg. Yeah, uh, I think the Quad will be OK. The Quad was doing fine under, under Trump. Um, Biden has uh, allowed the American system to operate and it's continued on autopilot in favour of alliances. And Biden is an old-style Democrat who believes in alliances. That's been good. Uh, on the other hand, Biden is a ditherer and he has allowed the American military budget to uh, be ineffectively spent and to run down a bit. Uh, nothing like Albanese, of course. I mean, the Americans are a million times more on the ball than, than our sleepy government in Canberra. But... Uh, I don't worry that Trump is going to destroy the quad or anything. I am worried that the quad is losing energy. So around the region, Australia never argues, argues for the quad to be more active militarily. It just says uh, sort of dopey things like we should ask ASEAN what it wants the quad to do. And then Biden is at the moment caught up in what he thinks is productive personal diplomacy with China's President Xi Jinping. Now, the Chinese normally play the Americans off a break in this kind of thing. They hold out the hope of a diplomatic breakthrough and get the Americans, therefore, yeah. to quieten down and slow down on their sort of constraining actions, and um, and they achieve nothing out of it. But all four of those leaders are very weakened. Uh, two of them, at least, are going to be replaced very shortly. But I still, I think the Quad serves everyone's interest and is likely to uh, continue on. 